Welcome, everybody, to the Profit Insider course, lesson three. This is the free course for beginners. Today, we're going to be talking about what can you trade, right? So the different types of assets, the different types of things that you can trade. This is very important because a lot of people, when they're starting out, they do not understand this. And each asset class, each thing that you can trade has different strategies, has different methods behind that. So we're going to dive into it. So stocks. Stocks are probably the most common thing that people trade. You may have heard of Apple stock. You may have heard of Tesla stock. You may have heard of Walmart stock. And basically, all a stock is, is it's something that allows people to own a company, right? So when the company goes up in value, the stock goes up in value, right? So if I buy Apple, if I were, if I were to buy Apple 10 years ago, I would have made a lot of money because Apple has risen a lot. The company has done very well. The company's grown. So that would be a long-term stock trade. I'm trading a stock. I could trade Tesla. Tesla's done very well, right? I could trade NVIDIA. NVIDIA is an AI chip company. We have some premium members that have been making a ton of money trading NVIDIA. So that just is the first thing is stocks, right? So stocks are a company. Most of these stocks we trade, you've heard of. S&P 500 is also a stock. It's an ETF, right? So it's a collection of different stocks but it would also be classified as a stock, right? So that's one thing we trade. The second thing we trade are options. So options, you're still trading a stock, but you're trading concept, you're trading contracts of that stock, right? You're trading contracts. So what that means is that you are betting on the price to go up or you're betting on the price to go down. So when you buy a call option, you are betting that the price will go up and basically you make the profit of if that, if you owned 100 shares. So you could buy a call option for say 500 bucks and if the price went up a dollar, right, you make another 500 or a thousand bucks or however that contract is priced, but it allows you to make more money with a little bit of money. So options are very nice because it allows you to control more of the shares. And when you're buying options, you can only lose how much you put in. So if I bought a call option for 300 bucks, I could lose 300 bucks or I could make 3000 because I am controlling a contract. Now a put option is me betting that the price will go down. So I buy a put option when I think that price will go down and it's the same exact thing as a call option except I'm betting that price will go down. So call options go up, put options when I think the price is gonna go down. So those are the different kinds of options we trade. Crypto, definitely heard of this big yellow thing, Bitcoin, Bitcoin as I'm recording this video is at all time highs. Bitcoin has just touched the highest point it's ever been. So crypto, as you can see, is a great thing to trade. We have a lot of premier members. One of our guys just made $1,000 trading Bitcoin after he watched my video on liquidity and he applied my strategy to crypto. So that just shows that my strategy works everywhere. He just made a thousand bucks and then he made another 500 bucks literally like five minutes ago, he sent me a thing. So he's made his premier membership back. He bought the lifetime plus some, right? He's already made like three or four thousand dollars and he's only been with us for a few days so futures if you've ever seen one of my instagram reels in these reels i am trading futures so futures is a leveraged contract of an asset it's similar to options but options is affected by a bunch of different things like greeks and implied volatility and futures is purely affected by price right so it's you're trading contracts of the future it's a little confusing but all you have to know is that futures you make more money when the price goes up and you make more, more money when the, or you lose more money when your price goes down, right? So futures is leveraged. So if some people are like, how do you make so much money off price moving 10 points? Because if I'm trading a few futures contracts, I can make around $250 for every dollar that the price moves, right? So that's a ton of money that I'm transacting with. I could also lose that amount of money, but futures is higher leveraged. Leverage means that you are able to make more money with a smaller amount of money and there's margin with futures, right? So when you're trading futures, you could potentially lose more than you put in. That's why I do not recommend futures for beginners. Futures is commonly traded with things like the S&P 500. You have ES mini futures, which are S&P 500 contracts. You have NQ, which is NASDAQ contracts. You have gold futures, you have oil futures. You can even trade stuff like corn futures. So Forex, Forex is currencies. The Forex market is a huge market. It's the largest market. You are trading foreign currencies, or you could even trade the US dollar, right? But you are trading currency pairs. You could trade US dollar versus Japanese yen. 
You could trade the euro versus the US dollar. So you are trading currency pairs and you profit from when one currency rises, let's say the price of the, the euro rises and you're trading euro USD, you make money, right? And you could also short it so you could bet that the price of the euro USD is going to go down and you make money when it goes down, right? So that's a little summary on the different kind of things we trade. And the Profit Insider tip for today is that each asset has its own rules and strategies, right? So although you can apply one strategy to all these assets, each of them will move a little bit differently, right? Because with futures, you may not want to be doing as long-term things as long-term trades, right? When you're trading futures, you may want to be more short, short-term because futures moves very heavily. So you just want to get in and out with futures. With stocks, you might want to trade more long-term because there's no leverage. So you might say, okay, I'm going to buy this AI company because I think AI is going to be big in the next 10 years, 20 years, and you're trading at a more longer-term thing. So you can apply the same similar strategies, but every single asset class will have a little bit of a different feel to it, right? Just because it's a totally different thing you're trading. It's a totally different market, right? So on to lesson four. This was lesson three. I will see you in lesson four, which will be about strategy, how to make money in the markets, and much more.